Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a kick, a ban, and an unban command, as well as a role position checking system. So you can't ban people above you. For example, an, a moderator will not be able to ban an admin if the admin role is above the moderator role. We're going to use slash command at this Discord.js version 13. So if you don't know what this is, um, this is a command header. You should find a link down in the description below. So just click on that and set this up. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. So I'm just going to create a new category called moderation. All right. So in here, I'm going to have my band.js and then I'm going to have my kick.js as well as my unban.js. So unban.js. So let's just start off with kick.js. So let me just do modular exports. Name will be kick as that is the command name. And then we're going to have um, description as ban. I mean, kick a member. Okay, we're going to have our run function. Client interaction arcs. Perfect. Okay, so um, just going to quickly implement some IntelliSense in here. So you don't need to do this. It's just for IntelliSense. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly do this. Command interaction. And then lastly, we have string. All right. All right. Next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the person has permissions to use this command. So if you haven't watched my permission handler video, I'll link it down in the description. Simply, we just have to do user permissions. And then we're going to do um, kick. And then uh, members. All right. So if the person doesn't, doesn't have kick members, it he, he or she wouldn't have access to this command. All right. Once we have checked for permissions, we actually need to have some arguments. So let me just do options. All right. So in the name, it's going to be member to ban. So the member, I'm, I'm just going to call this target. And then description will be target to kick. The type of this is going to be a user type. So user. And then required will be true as this is a required argument if you want to kick somebody. Next, we're going to have our uh, reason. So name will be reason. Description will be a uh, reason for this kick. And then type will be a string type. So string. And then lastly, you have required. I'm just going to make it false. So the person can either, uh, you can choose whether they want to provide a reason or not. You can make it true if you want, but I'm just going to make it false. All right, next thing I want to do is you want to check if the member is actually bannable. You want to check if the role that the member has is actually higher than you. If it's higher, we're not going to allow it. So we can just do const member or we can do const target equals to interaction, the options dot get a member, get member, and then uh, we can do you have to pass in target, so target in here. And then if I hover over here, it's going to say guild member. You can see here. And then we can have our reason. So const reason equals interaction dot options dot get string. As this is a string argument. And then we're just going to do pass in reason in here. So if there is not, there's no reason, I'm just going to give it a other value, which is going to be no reason. Okay, or we can just do no reason provided. All right. Okay, so once we've done that, uh, we want to actually check if the person role is higher than us. So cons, oh, if target the roles, the highest position is actually e higher or equal to my role. So interaction the member dot highest interaction mem member the roles the highest the position. All right, and then we're just going to return interaction dot follow up content. You can't uh, take action to on this user on this user as their on uh, their role is higher than yours. All right, so let me quickly go through this again. So if the person has higher or equal roles than us, we're just going to send this message. 
All right, so once we've done that, we're gonna actually send a DM to the user on why he has been kicked from the server. So you can simply do that by doing target, dot send, and then we can say, uh, you have been kicked from, and then we can have our interaction or guild ID, interaction or guild ID, I mean guild dot name. What I'm saying, guild dot name. Uh, reason, and then we can just pass in a reason in here. So we're just gonna do reason. All right, so once we have sent the message, okay, the reason that we can't send the message after we kick is because uh, maybe there's no other mutual server between you and the, I mean, the target and the bot. So in order to fix this, we have to actually send the message before kicking. So once we send the message, we're just gonna quickly do target.kick and then we can pass in a reason, we're just gonna be in here. All right, so once we kick the user, we're just gonna interaction.followup content. Uh, Kicked, and then we can just pass in the user in here. So target not user dot tag successfully, and then we can just pass in a reason, and then we can have our reason in here. All right, one more thing I forgot that we actually need to await. So we need to wait for it to send first before we kick, so that this message goes through before the person was banned from the server. I mean kicked from the server. So let's just test this out. So if I go to Discord again, let me just quickly uh kick the kick my alt account so my alt account is free contest i'm just going to provide a reason which is going to be breaking the server rules all right and then you say kick free contest successfully reason breaking the server rules and then if i go to my alt account as you can see here i received a dm from youtube tutorials and then i can see here that you have been kicked from youtube tutorials reason is breaking the server rules all right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the ban command. So let me just quickly copy this because most of them, we can just recycle it. We don't need to retype everything. We're just gonna change the name from kick. We're gonna change it to ban, change a uh, kick a member to ban a member. And then we're gonna change the user permissions to ban members. So ban members. And next thing, uh, we're just gonna change this to target to ban and a reason for this ban. All right, so at the bottom, uh, we're gonna do all the same things, but instead of kick, we're gonna do bans. Okay, so let me just quickly delete this line and let's just recode that again. So target.ban, okay, it's actually an options now. It's not a single string. So we need to pass in reason like this. All right, and then we can quickly change this from kicked to banned. And then uh, let me just see what else I need to change. So yeah, that should be it. So let's just test this out once again. All right, so if I try to run ban, target will be recontest. Okay, I was banned from the server. And then if I click, if I try to join the server again, it shouldn't allow me. So let me just quickly try that out. Where is it? All right, unable to accept invite. This happens because uh, when you're banned from the server, it's gonna show something like this. All right, so the last command that we're gonna make is unban command. So for the unban command, I'm just gonna recode it again. So module.exports equals name, it's gonna be a unban description. And then we just unban a user, run async client interaction args. Actually, we don't need args because we're not gonna use it. We're just gonna use interaction option. All right, so in here, we can just quickly grab the options. So client will be client and then interaction will be interaction. So interact command interaction. All right, perfect. So uh, let's just quickly, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how to do this. So don't forget to add a permission. So let me just quickly go up here. We're gonna use the same permission. So let me just copy it from uh, band command copy and then let me just paste it in here like this all right so in here uh, we're gonna make it option to choose what member you want to unban so just get options will be name will be um user user id and then the description it's gonna be user id that you want to unban Okay, and then the type is going to be a string because IDs are in string. 
and then required will be true. Oh, one more thing, I, I would like to show you guys the audit log. So if I go to audit log and then I click on my ban, okay, so I didn't provide any reason, that's why it's gonna say no reason provided, but I provided a reason for the kick. So as you see here, breaking the server rules. So this, both of these are testing and then this is what you saw just now. All right, so as you can see here, I didn't specify any options. That's why it's gonna say no reason provided. Okay, so let's just continue. Um, user ID. Okay, I don't think we need a reason for unban. All right, so I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna get the user ID. So cons user ID, we can do something like this. It goes to interaction, the options, dot get string. We can get the user ID. So if there is no user ID, Oh, we don't need to do that because it's already required true. So you can just straight away try unbanning the user. So if it shows an error, we're just gonna send an error message. So interaction or guild members unban. All right. So in here, we can just pass in the user ID. But then, so once it's banned, it's gonna give us the user. I I'm not sure if it's yeah. I think it's user. All right, so once it's unbanned the user, we're just gonna say interaction dot follow up content um user dot tag is unbanned from this server. Okay, so if there's an error, it means that the person is either not banned or it's not a valid ID. So if it's an error, we're just gonna do um interaction. The follow up content will be please specify a valid band member members ID. Okay, let me just uh do this. So if it's a invalid ID, we're just gonna send this message. Of course, you can make this an embed, whatever you want. I'm just gonna make a simple message like this. Alright, so let's just test this out. Alright, so let's just test this out. So if I try to run unband and I can specify a random ID. It's gonna say, please specify a valid band member's ID. So if I try to unban my account, so I'm just gonna do this. This is a recon test is unbanned from the server. So if I go to my other account again, and I try to paste the invite link, if I can find it. All right, so let me just paste that in. This year, I can join the server. If you need any help or you want to suggest a new video, feel free to join the Discord server. Links will be in the description. Other than that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.